Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. It's been a good while. I have Chewbacca with me. His head is a little loppy, but he's actually going to help me bake today. Say hi. <laughs> so I thought it'd be a little different today. Um, we're going to make some Wookiee cookies. And if you don't know what that is, I'm going to show you. But look at this. I have my own room. Well, my own gaming room, you could say. But enough about that, we are going to head to my kitchen and we are going to make some cookies. I haven't had cookies in a long time, so this is going to be really exciting. Here is a cookbook that my brother actually got me for my birthday. It was recently my birthday, a week ago, and it's pretty cool. This book, I thought it was pretty neat because I was like, oh wow, there's gonna be some actually um, cookings from there, but it, it's not really like that. What it's really about is pretty much giving it a name and any of the food items that it has on here, like a like a smoothie, a regular smoothie is a Skywalker smoothie. Let's go on here, um, Yoda soda. It's pretty basic, and um, I was thinking on uh, which which one should we make first, so why not just go with the cover? A Wookiee cookie, which should be exciting and interesting, um, right? <laughs> Actually, um, I never got to ask you guys how you guys are doing. Uh, it's been a while. Tell me in the comments. I haven't talked to some of you. I've been gone since um, February, I think. I've been doing a whole lot in my life. My 2020, it, it's, it seems pretty sucky, but for mine, it's been a pretty amazing. I've gotten a promotion. I've gotten myself a new car. I recently moved. Uh, um, just so many great things that I just see thriving, and I'm not going to stop. I'm actually going to come back and continue on what I started. So with that being said, let's get started. Already put some of the, oh, actually all of the ingredients together uh, prior to the video. We have our flour, our brown sugar. We have our baking soda, salt, cinnamon, sugar. So if you're allergic to cinnamon, you don't need this in your cookie recipe. We have two eggs, a cup of butter. We have two cups of, uh, one cup of semi-sweet chocolate and one cup of regular milk chocolate. Shout out to Knott's, I miss you. And then we have a um, teaspoon and a half of vanilla. I already forgot, we have to preheat our oven at 350. As that is preheating, you can go ahead and get your baking sheet. And uh, you wanna put parchment paper on here so it doesn't get stuck. For those that don't bake or cook or whatever. What you're gonna wanna do first, you're gonna wanna put all your dry ingredients in a bowl and mix it together. So we have our flour here. We also have our bacon soda. Bacon soda! We have our salt and we have our cinnamon. And what you're gonna wanna do is just mix it up in a bowl and get it well combined together. Since we have all this mixed together, you can go ahead and put this to the side. And what, uh, we can just put this in the sink right now. You're gonna wanna take your brown sugar, your half a cup of granulated sugar, butter, and your eggs, and you're gonna mix it into the mixer. So we're gonna go ahead and do that too. Uh, what's gonna happen now is that since you have all your wet ingredients in your mixer, you can do this in your bowl as well. Put in all your dry ingredients, but do it like a little at a time. Otherwise, you're gonna have one big old giant um, dust storm, and you don't want that. You don't want it. No one has time to clean all that. Get your handy dandy spatula. You're gonna get the sides down, and I'll show you. But you, you, you don't need me showing. Y'all are grown ups. Uh, if there's any grown ups with kids watching, your parents will help you, your mom, your dad, your guardian, auntie, grandma, friend, best friend, anybody. Anybody can help each other out, right? Because this is a loving channel. That's what we do. Remember those uh, two cups of chocolate that we had, the semi-sweet and the uh, regular milk chocolate? We're going to add those in now. Why we didn't add that beforehand is because you don't want them to get crushed up and be tiny little bits. You want them to be presentable. You want them to look whole. And that's 
but people like when they look at a cookie. Don't look at them and look like a bunch of ants. I mean, yeah, you don't want to do that. Uh, what? <laughs> it's, oh no, it's stuck. <laughs> Get out. It won't come out. Oh my gosh. Get out. Right now it kind of looks like this inside. It's what it should look like. We'll put it down. Then just do a few rotations like one, two. Ooh. Ah, might as well. <laughs> okay. So this is what it should look like inside. Ooh, tasty. So that uh, the same bowl that you had before that we had our flour and our dry ingredients. We're gonna go ahead and place uh, this right here, all our uh, cookie dough. And then we're gonna put it in the fridge for about like 10 to 15 minutes. So it can chill and get that uh, stiffness and firmness that we like in a cookie. Otherwise it could be all flat and we're not about that flat life. Okay. So what my old boss said at one of my baking jobs, well the first job it wasn't my first job it was my first bakery job um like years ago and he would tell me that if it does if your bowl doesn't look like a dog has finished it clean you know how it kind of like licks it all up if it doesn't look like that you didn't you didn't do it right you didn't clean out your bowl properly you don't have all the necessary uh all the necessary dough that you need for i guess equivalency he was i don't know he was all about that cleanliness so we're gonna do exactly what he said because that's what he taught me what all of it looks like pretty bomb but also the bottom of your bowl I think he'd be pretty proud now that we have the dough out we're gonna scoop it with the regular scooper and let's see do at least an inch and a half apart or at least let me see I really hope these turn out good. <clears throat> all right, now that we have it all scooped, we'll put this back in the fridge and then we'll put this and leave them in for, it's saying that you need to put these in for, um, you need to put these in for 10 minutes. And, and so it's not at 350, it's at 375. Disregard everything I said at the beginning on what the, so far so good, they're spreading out. A little wider than I anticipated. <laughs> I really hope they don't touch. Starting to look a little. They're starting to look a little flatter than I wanted them to, or at least this is what the book calls. Oh uh, no! I mean, at this moment, I'm just really hoping it tastes the taste at least. Oh no! So they're a little bigger than what they should be. Because on the book it says you need to scoop it with like a tablespoon size but I did it with like a regular scoop so now like they kind of look like butt cheeks kissing together we'll actually try another batch and see what happens well another scoop of it all right while those cookies are baking I'm actually gonna show you the uh, what I've been collecting lately I've been very into VHS's and um, I actually recently yesterday got a whole bunch of Sailor Moon VHS's that I've been looking for actually I've been looking for a lot of them um, I love Sailor Moon uh, if you want to see what I got take a look at these um, at the Pixable buy sell and trade event um, I <laughs> this these were these tapes were the first things that I wanted to get and actually some girl got them before me but she put them down for some for some reason I don't even know but if you want to see how that happened go on super video game gals uh, YouTube channel she's amazing she's a blessed sweetheart and one of the coolest uh, women in retro that I know and she's a huge Disney person uh, go follow her and subscribe to her and go watch that video I just want to show you just a little bit uh, besides the tapes that I've been collecting I'm uh I really for some reason Reptar is one of my top things I love Reptar and I'm actually collecting anything that is Reptar as well and I'll show you that right now um it's kind of 
different i guess you could say i don't know who else is collecting reptar stuff but i know i am and i'm looking for a reptar watch right now so if anybody knows where i can find one can you please uh help help assist out And yes, I do have the Taco Bell dog. He's just adorable. Look at him. You'll get him. If you guys uh, follow me on my Instagram at CeceSonoForte, you'll see Chester is actually on top. There he is. He's just chilling. He's in a new home. And he's loving life. I guess that's enough. Let's just go ahead and go check back on those cookies. I'm pretty sure we left, uh, we left Chewbacca by himself. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is what they actually turn out to look like. They turned out flat, but they're really nice and soft in the middle. And then they have like a nice crisp on this, the side. So again, bake it for 375 for 10 minutes. And if you don't like it, put an extra two, but flip your pan around. So I guess we'll try these cookies just because that's what we do. I haven't had a cookie in a really long time though because I'm not really a cookie person. Okay, I'm pretty bomb. You can taste the cinnamon a lot. The, the milk chocolate and the semi-sweet actually works really good together. Wanna try it? Oh, what a big bite. <laughs> I'll see you later. I'll see you next time. I will be making more of these uh, food, dinner, maybe drinks from this cookbook. Until then, I'll see you later. Goodbye.